told you it's just, it's just your ponytail we didn't we wanted to know who you were so bad <laughs> what, what's your name Pam, Pam? You're, you're happy you're happy to be here yes. okay if you said no it would take us down a whole different road <laughs> in, in the future if you, if you guys are regulars here and you come to the show again and you sit in that seat you just know that the people backstage get to look at the side of your head for the entire time. Just what, really one chair, just like, like the top of your head, just like the top third of your head, depending on your confidence. Like every time you get a little happy, you're like, oh, I got a whack a ball, but she and her. And we can see his, like with the top of his hat right there, we couldn't tell if it, like, he was a ninja, because yeah, all you could see was the back of the. Uh, the my back bet was head. dreadlocks. I thought there'd be dreadlocks under there, but it's not. You're, you're clearly uh, just a regular non Jamaican meth dealer. <laughs> Just a sur the surfer type, right? You guys are probably sick of meth jokes. I'm sure everybody that comes through goes like, Hey, it's a meth! Like, I I'm from Wisconsin, it was cheese. You guys make meth. Like, what, what, do you, what, what do you wear on top of your heads at the football games? Is it like a, like a glass? Like, uh, now I'm doing it. Now I'm doing it. I'm doing what everyone does when they come through here, I'm sure. Yeah. It's the Southwest. It's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the best region of the country. It's Phoenix. It's the greatest. It's the sixth largest capital city in the United States. Your mayor's name is Greg Stanton. Your your football team is the Sun Sanders. Spent all day in the hotel. The Sun Sanders. You love cacti. You're proud of it. So much to talk about. All right, so we're making the movie. That's why I came up with the Bluetooth. We're, 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 we just want every, every, everywhere we go. We're, we're making this. We're, we got the tour bus. You're our first stop, by the way. I, 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 I talked to people at the bar. They didn't even know that. I, I think the mistake. Of, I think that's a narcissist mistake. You think that everyone knows what you know. So first of all, that, that, that adds to nervousness. I think you know that I'm an asshole. I think you know I'm stupid. I think you know I'm not funny. Uh, and I also think you know that this is our first stop on the tour, but it, obviously some, we have to get to know each other. I mean, we have been doing this show in a, in a cradle in Los Angeles. It's like a very specific audience, and uh, you guys are a specific audience. We have to spend tonight uh, making a kind of love, not a, not a it will be consensual. And we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to leave here with your money having been well spent, or I, 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 will, I will literally kill myself on stage. <laughs> And you'll you can Instagram it and, and, and use the right filter because I think I feel like my blood looks fat this week. <laughs> so, also, for, for those of us, or those of you rather that listen to the podcast, uh, I don't know if you listened to the last one, but Pat and Oswald uh, gave Phoenix uh, some pretty rough treatment. Did, you, uh, did anyone hear that? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? 
start to get to know each other. So, so how, like, who listens to the podcast like regularly? And then, so that's like sixty percent. Yeah, there's like so there's a lot of so there's a, okay. Who just got a flyer saying, you won a comedy contest, come see some funny stand-up. Okay, thank God. That was my big nightmare, it was like, uh, hey, let's go see some comedy. And then I come out and I'm like, I feel fat. And then uh, like, this isn't uh, Horatio Sands. Who's fat? Well, he's lost a lot of weight. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I'm just saying, like, there, there, I have these posters on the wall. Like, like uh, there's people that made that, I, and I, the, the people here tonight who came for that, you're also going to get your money's worth. I swear to God. I swear to your God. Like, I, 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 not even mine. Mine's more easygoing than yours. I, I, will, I, will, I will do whatever your God requires. You're not. You're not leaving here until your money has been has been well spent. Uh, how, how much were the tickets? 22. Okay, I take it back. That's rough. <laughs> that's, that's a tall order for a guy like me. A 22, that's, that's an arbitrarily non-round number. I've never done a $22 show. This will be my first one. Okay, okay. fine. Tonight, Dan, we're going to give you, let's give him a $23 show. <laughs> well, Frank. Yeah. Uh, turn around, turn around my own Have you seen it? Like, this will help the $22. I was like, they pandering to you. <laughs> Sports uh, uh, restaurants. Oh, oh, Tucson. So let's go for Tucson. Here. So, yeah, so what Dan is doing for the podcast is when he's taking off, uh, he's unbuttoning his shirt. It's not uh, an Arizona State shirt. It's the uh, it's, it's the Alice Cooper uh, Cooper's uh, Town uh, knockoff of the Sun Devil shirt. So we have Wildcat fans who are also like Big Ten Nugent fans as well. Right? <laughs> Wait, are you guys mad at the Sun Devils or are Alice Cooper? Both. Both. But what about, did, didn't you just tell me that Ted Nugent uh, compared uh, gun owners to Rosa Parks today? <laughs> yeah, I was like, Ted Nugent like, made the brave odd uh, choice. Yeah, he, he said, I, I just saw like a little blurb, apparently he, he said that gun owners are kind of comparing them to Rosa Parks and that one day the, the law-abiding gun owner will be sitting in the front of the bus, uh, whatever that bus is, like I'm assuming it's a bus to, to, to go wrong. It sounds like the bus is shooting people. <laughs> I don't know how that metaphor is supposed to be explained. I know uh, we're, we're sitting in the back of it now, which means we're not shooting people with the guns that we're heroes for having. Uh, I, I don't turn to Ted Nugent for my for my metaphors. I, you know, I, I, I don't think of him so many. With, yeah. I don't know why we. Good turning to him for our politics. Yeah. It's the weirdest. I, I, Did you I say, trust him for one topic alone: bow hunting. That's it. Bow hunting. I think Ted Nugent knows everything about bow hunting. If he, if he came up here and was like, "This is how you should, uh, how you uh, notch an arrow," I would go, "I, I believe you." I would go to him not for civil rights uh, analogies. I would go to more if I had questions about Wang Bang Sweet Boom Tang. That's that's where I turn to Ted Nugent. Uh, You're already starting to sense that I'm doing, I'm forcing that. Uh, I, I, I would say I really need it, but I, I, I can't yet. You were nervous about tonight. Well, yeah, because we both, well, because we left our comfort zone, we, we drove in a bus, and then we came out the door, and I, we came in here, and I saw the lacquered tables and the three foot high stage and the, you know, the, 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 the posters of, of people who clearly you could tell from the photos on the wall. The, the, the people who normally perform here, they have actual material. You can think they're, they're doing it in the, in the picture. There's a, there's a picture of a lady going like, ah! She's in the middle, she's just finishing explaining like, like, what, like, what general she would be like in drive through uh, uh, that, that guy's like, like, they jumped, and then they, they finally drew the line between between men and women in the, in the, uh, in the shopping with the toilet. The, the, this is like there's a hall of fame back there. Like, See, yeah, most comics come up and riff the sets. Like a, 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 a hat comic would come up and go, "Oh wow, nice to be back in Prescott." Uh, 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 uh. uh, but you're actually riffing the other comics that are off the wall. You're riffing on. Comics. I'm not riffing. I'm intimidated by them. I, they look like the. I uh, can't tell anybody. Is that Gallagher or a woman? I can't see that. <laughs> I get the picture of Rachel Thrasher. Uh, emo. Bobby Lee. Bobby Lee. Oh, it's Bobby Lee. <laughs> Bobby Lee, if you're listening, I thought you 
you were Rachel Dress. Uh, <laughs> and Bobby Lee, uh, I thought you were Gallagher. So. Uh, and everyone else on the wall here, you take it easy on the appetizers. Uh, that's mean. Look at me. Look at me. There is a thing that, I, I was looking for the menu. Uh, there's a thing on the menu that just says pig. And it boasts that it's, uh, would somebody read, did somebody grab a menu and read uh, pig for me on microphone? There's a, is there a menu out there? It's a pound of bacon with maple syrup. A, a half pound of bacon with a sign of maple syrup. That's fucking fantastic. He said a pound. It's a half pound. Yeah. Take it easy. <laughs> what do you think this is? Ladies night? I don't know what that means. They say we're going to pay his hands out that much? I will, I'll, I will say things I don't know what they mean. I just hope it makes you laugh. Sometimes it's, it's a trick people can perform. Uh, kind of like a Rubik's Cube in a Monica Lewinsky cigar. <laughs> that didn't work. Okay, good. Don't, don't ever let me fool you. Rap! Rap! Oh, you're shit. You want to rap? All right, now, see, now Dan, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this. This is my mother. Dan, Dan likes to rap. Uh, the raps usually involve him fucking one of your mothers. <laughs> Um, we have a... Uh, who's the, who's, who, who wants their, who wants me to rap about fucking their mom? Alright, I got a lot of hands. I love feelings. You're on? Wait, 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 this guy wants you to fuck his aunt. You fuck his house? His aunt. <laughs> his aunt. Alright, alright. You want Dan Herman to rap about fucking your aunt? One of those. One of those? Yeah. Alright. Alright. Well, shit. Now, Dan, now Dan, we have we have a lot of uh, different uh, rap styles here we can use here. We have we have uh, sexy and slow freestyle. I want to do a sexy slow rap about uh, about fucking his aunt. Okay. <laughs> uh, who's who's uh, a sister of his mama? So right. you can tie that in. Well, you're already burning up my run. Sorry. <laughs> Wait, what's, what's your name, sir? Alex. Alex. Okay, what's your aunt's name? Patty. Patty. And uh, what is she the most afraid of? Aging. Aging? How old is she? Old enough. I forgot her name already. Patty. Patty. I'm not good at this. I'm not good at this. I'm good at fucking your mama. Oh shit. Sorry. Maybe that's how you meant it down. came over, wanted to talk to me, I said, can I fuck your mama? He said, let's wait and see. He took me down the hall into a different room. He said, the pussy you're gonna fuck is not connected to womb. <laughs> yes, it is, but not the one that gave birth to me. <laughs> he introduced me to a different person. I was, I was, my eyes were bursting. I, I took this bitch in, I said, who are you? She said, my name is Patty. Dustin. Dustin, and you, you would like to have to, uh, to fuck your mama right now. Yeah. Okay, what's your favorite food? Uh, steak. Okay, steak. All right. Uh, 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 which, which, which movie did you think was better? Uh, Tremors or uh, 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 Shawshank Redemption? Shawshank Redemption. Okay, let's stay. What was his name? Dustin. 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 Okay. All right, Dustin. Dustin likes the Shawshank Redemption and steak. And fuck his mama. Give me a beat. Ladies and gentlemen, Dustin's mama has been fucked at least once that we know of. But she's about to get it again! Yeah, yeah, that, that was my fault. I meant to give you, I meant to give you this one. <laughs>
Suggestions to create a. Uh, uh, yeah. If you didn't know how those were going to come in, that was experimental. All right, let's stop. Let's stop with the. Let's stop with the gimmicks. What am I? What am I? A uh, performing monkey? Uh, what am I? Someone you paid twenty-two dollars to see? Dan, that was, we, we we embark on our tour here in Phoenix, Arizona, and uh, we're going to go all over the country. This this is uh, this, this sets the tone for the rest of our trip. What are you what are you hoping? to walk away with uh, tonight. Uh, at least, at, at bare minimum, a, a mesh sports jersey from a uh, heavy, heavy metal icon's sports bar. And I, I feel like I've already got that. <laughs> Among you people that, that are here tonight, how many of you have eaten at Alice Cooper's Cooperstown uh, place? Yeah. The food's terrible, right? That food is garbage. They, 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 they fucked up french fries. <laughs> Like my theory was, that, but I, I think it probably do because you said Alice Cooper's a big sports fan. But I, my theory was when I walked in because there was guys with like the Alice Cooper mascara, but it was just like a strip, like on a football field, like a, and then like a little trickle down. So I, I felt like what my, what I imagined happening was that they originally opened an Alice Cooper place and they committed to it, and then business was going down, and then like this Alec Baldwin consultant came in, and was like, you guys are losing business to sports venues. So you put on a baseball cap and, and make that running mascara into one of those uh, stripey things under your eye when you play football. Now you got a bar, now you got a restaurant. And then we walked into, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, but the, it's, the truth is, Alice Cooper loves sports and loves Phoenix and opened a bar here. He lives here, he, he lives here, right? Yeah. Yeah, he, he's cool. I saw, uh, speaking of Ted Nugent, I saw Alice Cooper open. Uh, I, saw, I saw Ted Nugent open up for Alice Cooper one time at the House of Blues in, uh, in, in Hollywood. And Ted Nugent came out and he was dressed in uh, battle fatigues and he sang his crappy songs. I mean, he's, he's, some, some are good. He's got a couple good ones, but a lot, a lot of them like, eh. And uh, then he came back out for his encore, which nobody asked him for. Like, I, it was a completely unsolicited uh, encore that he came back out. And he came back out in his battle fatigues, but in a full Indian headdress, like down to the ground, like sitting bull. And, and he had in one hand a, a, like an a, a electric guitar he was holding by the bottom, so it was up in the air in one hand. And the other hand, an M16 with a hundred round uh, magazine by the butt of the gun, he was holding them both in the air and he came back out for his encore that nobody really, really cried out for. And he went, this is the American dream. Being an Indian? I, I, I'm pretty sure no American Indian would sign off on that one. Yeah. I, uh, and then so fucking hysterically, so he leaves and Alice, Alice Cooper comes out and he starts the show and then like, 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 I'm 18! Like, like, like that starts playing and he, and he comes down the steps and he's got the makeup on, running down his face and he looks like Satan and he has a big white python around his neck and he comes down the, the, the stairs and he comes towards the microphone like slinking in the music and he comes down and he grabs the mic and he goes, hey everybody, uh, sorry about that first guy. <laughs> Through Ted Nugent under the bus. Was yeah. We have to get a couple things out of the way just for the movie. I, I'll, I'll take it off of your twenty-two dollars if you see me after you go. I was, I helped you with the movie. I, I want my three dollars. Uh, uh, we we, we got to get a couple of like because we're making this movie. It's like a tour movie, so we need like like one thing I can think that we definitely need is like the uh, the slow motion montage, like 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 of, of of me killing it at every venue. And we <laughs> 
<laughs> we definitely have to fake that, like, because like, 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 it's, it's, it's not going to happen. Because I, 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 I don't, I don't have Bobby Lee's uh, chutzpah. Uh, I, I, that, that horrible song about Dustin's mom. I thought, I'm so sorry. I don't know what I thought I was doing, and I, 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 it didn't rhyme, and it was gross, and it was it evoked an image of it's just gross. I just I lost I lost a lot of the women too, and I'm sorry. You want to try a country song instead? Yeah, maybe in a second. This is like, we keep you know we we don't want to we don't want to burn up all the gold. We're, we're safe so far. Well, let's just let's just get let's just get a quick let's just get, I just want to get a shot of like. Uh, like, uh, it's slow motion, so we, I, don't, I don't know if there's cameras that can overcrank, so I, I, uh, I just, I need you guys to be slow-mo. So if you could, like, kind of, just act, just imagine that I did well. Wait, this sounds like the most dishonest thing in the world. <laughs> no, no, it's... Dan, Harmontown is about being sincere and honest connections with people. Yeah. Well, it's, a, it's basically a real thing, but just... <laughs> just imagine that it's the end of the show, and, like, like I did really good, and just, like, kind of go... Kind of, like, 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 like slow-mo, like, reach for me, like, you wish you could touch me. And then I'll be, like, like kind of, like, like, touching it. I just want to get that shot. Yeah, but I would say, like, uh, be, be a loose, like, Mar Maria Callas, like, like opera singer, people reach out to you and be like... <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, well, we'll get, we'll get that, but first I want to get the Bon Jovi sweep, like, the, like, like, so, so you guys could just, like, 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 just kind of raise up, like, like, one, two, three, do it, like, right, like, slow-mo. <laughs> this is all a lie. <laughs> What kind of movie do you think you're making? Movie of lies. I won't sign off on this, Dan. This is it. All right. Well, whatever. All right. Well, can we? Can we also uh, give yourself a hand? Well, can we? Can, we'll, 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 we'll counteract it then. We'll get. We'll. we'll... I say now, Dan. That now, because uh, of that dishonesty, that would, now you, it's your. The onus is on you to create that moment for real at the end of this I show. I definitely will. Yeah. I basically already did. <laughs> like with, 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 with community. <laughs> When I don't have Joel McHale and I get on camera, I have to juice it a little bit. There's every everything, everything in entertainment is a lie. Okay, well here I'll do I'll do you this favor. Let's do the the opposite. Like like let's do the let's do the dark moment. We know this might be the worst gig of the whole tour. So it, does anybody have do you have stuff you can throw at me without hurting me? Very uh, see, a lot of people very readily picked up bottles, <laughs> but not nothing glass. Nothing that'll yes, break. plastic. Okay, that was a, that, that looked was... like a roll of like sweet tarts. Well, don't 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 wait, don't start. There has to be control. We can't just uh, like 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 I cue you and then we because we have to get a good shot. So, uh, cover girl wet slicks, fruit spritzers. There's a, like, like, there's, a, there's a million words on the label. I can't None tell of them tell you what it is. I, I, can't, I don't know what she hates more, you or cover girl Wetzlux. She just threw that on stage. Is it empty? Don't put it on. That's gross. What, what is it? We don't know what it is. It's, it's, it's lip gloss. Oh. oh. It's a lip gloss. Okay. It's, it says spritzers. It, doesn't, it says everything but lip gloss. Do you want that back? You, well, who did it? Was it yours? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Pam, Pam's friend? Thank you, sir. Uh, all right, so just okay. So I'm gonna cower because I, I, I kind of like I, I, I reached too hard and I and, I, and you turned on me and, and just kind of like just kind of boo me and, 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 and if you don't have anything to throw, just kind of like 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 point angrily or or go like this like like forget this. I I could, I could there's three other rooms here. There's a guy singing behind a beer tap. I could go watch. Uh, so all right, so so I'll, I'll just I'll just cue you with like a generic thing. I was like like what? Oh no, oh yeah. You have to turn. Did you turn it on? My battery's dead. Here, where am I? 
Yeah. This is gross. Sorry. It's just a little bit of work we have to do for the movie, that's all. So. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. So uh, uh, you'll 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 receive the cue. I'll cue you naturally. Like uh, <laughs> this has been the greatest tour ever. This 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 thing's been better than 9/11, which I loved happening. I loved it. I loved it. What are you talking about? You dumb shit. No, you don't know what you're talking about. Fuck you. I'm going back to Los Angeles. <laughs> you're such a bitches. All right, there. Are you happy? That was good. You guys are wrapped. Thank you very much. It's exhilarating to be part of Hollywood, isn't it? Like, you know, show business. Well, probably. Yeah. There's a lot of... <laughs> it's, a very, it's a very nice crowd. There's a lot yes, of soft a... stuff. Like, like, you'd expect one guy to like, there would be like a weird like ninja star. And... What are you pointing at? There's a lifesaver. Use condom! <laughs> It's okay, everybody. Take it easy. Uh, 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 all right. So, Phoenix, uh, let's get back to getting to know you, and then, and then uh, yeah, because we can't we can't leave this town as we go on this tour. We we want to come away with learning something about this town. I, I've been to Phoenix a couple times, and it's always been very quick, so I don't really know much about it. So we have to, you know, we have to. Yeah. I know I know incredibly little about Phoenix, and I, I, like 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 maybe we could we could solicit somebody to help, like uh, learning about it. Who 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 feels like they know? Who's, who's lived here their, their whole life? Woo! Uh, okay, we got a couple hands. We got her right here. We have like Pam's friend. Uh, <laughs> I was sitting across from Pam. Uh, can, can, both Brianne, so. You're, you're both named Brianne? Yes. Well, that's fine. Uh, you both named Brianne? It was weird for us. <laughs> it's weird for me. Have you, have you met before tonight? No. You, you just met, you're both named Brianne. Yes. That's awesome. You guys gonna, uh... <laughs> Probably. You guys gonna... <laughs> Alright. We made a love connection over here. Alright, well, well Brianne, would you be willing to come up and talk to us for just a second? We don't bully people at the apartment town. We're not gonna, we're not gonna make fun of you. Let's welcome Brianne to the stage. Here. Hi, Brianne. Hi. 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 Hi.
A guitar. You do? Yeah. Have you got a guitar here? No. <laughs> is, is there a guitar in the house? <laughs> what kind of music do you play? Um, it varies, but mostly rock. Do you sing? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. You do? I could, I guess. <laughs> Ever bring it? Do, do, do you think that you, if you could, you, if I were to uh, improvise one of my incredible <laughs> raps, that you could do like the Rihanna or Dino hook? No. Like, like when I cued you, like, 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 you know, like, like we could say like, uh, 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 please come down to Harmon Town. Don't turn your frown upside down. <laughs> Pea is yellow, poop is brown. I'm going down to Harmon Town. Can you remember that? Uh, okay. That's what. Uh, 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 please come down to Harmon Town. No. Oh, wait, I, I already forgot it. Please come down to Harmon Town. I forgot. I, well, what, I thought you, you, you were going to let her sing it. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, yeah, I was trying to get her to remember the thing. That's what it smiles. Yeah, fair. You turn your frown upside down. P is yellow, poop is brown. Come on down to Harmon Town. Come on down. I'll do it. Do you, do you think you can? Do you think you come on? Come on down to Harmon Town. Turn your frown upside down. P is yellow, poop is brown. Come on down to Harmon Town. And then you would rap. Yeah. Yeah. Brandy, ready? Right? Yeah. 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 Yo, yo, got off the bus at about six o'clock. I think the city's so good, I'd like to suck its cock. I like Phoenix, I like my penis, I like to swear I'm not Enos from Dukes of Hazard. It predates you. Don't worry about it. My name is Dan Harmon, and I'm here to entertain you. Ram. Come on down to Harmon Town. Turn your frown upside down. P is yellow, face down. Come on down to Harmon Town. Yo, uh, situation's changing. I don't want to go around rearranging. I've got Brianna on my side in Phoenix. The only thing that ever rhymes with it is penis. But I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna do different. But I'm not gonna come up with anything different. <laughs> The rhymes are different. I'm a bad rapper, but I'm gonna make a difference. Come on down to Harmon Town. Yo. Turn that frown upside down. Yo. He is yellow, poop is brown. Yo. Come on down to Harmon Town. Everything is spinning round me like ruling wheels. I wanna touch your mama's titties and give her feels. I wanna slap my hand up her ass crack. I wanna go up in front of her and come up back around the back. I wanna drive her down. The store by her ham. I wanna fuck your mama like I fuck Pam. I'm sorry about that. I'm so sorry about that. I'm so sorry. I'm so so sorry about it. Come on down, hard in town. Turn that frown upside down. He is yellow, poop is brown, motherfucker. One more time, everybody. Come on down, hard in town. Yo. Turn that frown upside down. No more. Struggle. Come on down, down. Yeah, I wanna struggle with my insides. I fuck your mama so hard, I let her twice as wide. I ordered two pounds of ham with maple syrup. I went to Phoenix and that was all I did. Damn it, penis suck. <laughs> Jeff, you gotta do a verse. Do a verse. Right. I can suck tonight. Phoenix, Arizona. I'd like to lease you or maybe own you. I, I wanna date you for a while. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll fuck your frown into a smile. I, I'll put my dick into your nose until it turns into an ear. I'll fuck your head until it turns into your rear. Yo, I won't unravel. I like the way your front yards are sometimes made of gravel. Yeah, yeah. Yo, this song goes out to Rosa Parks. Wait, what? Brianna, yeah, what? Brianna. she's got to close it, she's got to close it. All right, wait, let me set you up. I got to rap more. 
I came to Phoenix with a fear in my heart, but now I realize all I gotta do is play a fart. Because they're good people. They're very forgiving of a very untalented person. Yeah, Dan, you were afraid of all the people that you see, but it turns out that woman over there was actually Bobby Lee. Yo, I thought he was Rachel Drax, but Phoenix has unlocked my heart from the latch. Stupid. Stupid ass lines. Don't, don't try to think ahead. Sucks all the time. My, I'm fat. I got fired by NBC. Now I'm here and I'm rapping for you and me. Come on down to Harlem Town. Turn your frown upside down. P is yellow. Harmontown t-shirts available out front. Thank you, McCarthy. Still, still haven't learned that much about Phoenix. <laughs> no, uh, that summer is bad. And what, what, what was good about it? Oh, the music scene. You like the music scene. Wish we had a guitar so Brian could play something for him. <laughs> I wish that we could just find somebody to do every part of the show. Is it, <laughs> no, like, like, there'd be like a guy in the front that's got a funny hat and like, I do comedy. <laughs> you can't get over it. It's like, oh shit, Bobby Lee's here. Let's bring him up. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, you know, I, I, it's, it's insecure. It's, when you go on tour, it's, it's hard. You leave your comfort zone. It's $22. It's, uh, it's, it's tough. <laughs> Like it's, it's rough. They pay $10 in Los Angeles, okay? I'm just telling you. The standard of living is, is, is higher there. Yeah. Does that mean that the $10 is worth more, or...? I think... Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so your 22 is... I don't get it. <laughs> How about those gator sanders? No. <laughs> Sun Devils! Sun Valley! They call you the Sun Valley! Are there Wildcat fans out there instead? Is that Wikipedia! <laughs> Where are we going next? We're going to Austin? We're going to Austin, Texas. What do we, what do we... As soon as the show is over, we have to get right in the bus and drive... I would do that anyway, because I, I, I hate myself. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't hang out. I would run to the, to the, to the bus and, and get count their delicious money. <laughs> uh, Dan, Dan, whatever happens tonight, Phoenix, Arizona is the city where you discover that pee is yellow and poop is brown. <laughs> It took, it took a lot of doing, but we figured it out. Uh, uh, I, I, uh, okay, so uh, we have to figure one thing out as we go from city to city. Because I want to start a colony on the moon, you know, like we're going to... And the, the end times are coming, for real, now that 2012 is over, we can really say that. Uh, it, was, it was hype before, but I'm, I'm really convinced now, we're going to just get out of here. Uh, 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 so, so, and I want to I create like a system of rules uh, when we get there, so that we can have a simple society, and I want it to be based on as few rules as possible. Um, and I think the first rule should be that, that nobody should ever do anything that uh, anyone else doesn't want them to do. But then th it gets really complicated. So I, I like like uh, I'm trying to figure out how to uh, how to create like a constitution for Harmontown, um, <clears throat> and I and, and I need help doing that. Uh, so I, I want somebody to tell me, like, 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 like I'm gonna close my eyes. Who, who, who? Let's, all, let's, who? All, let's all leave. <laughs> I would notice. <laughs> who, who, who had the worst day today? Who's, who, who's here in spite of having like the worst, worst day? Who thinks they had the worst day? Only good days in Phoenix. Only good days in Phoenix. Nice. <laughs> Not in summer. <laughs> Anybody have a crappy day here? Come on. Yeah. All right. Uh, what, what, what happened to you? Can you summarize it? Would you be willing to come up here? Can you, do you, would you? Would you? We, we, we definitely. We don't pick on you. Obviously, I'm the. I'm the. I am the enemy. Uh, I, you're a hero for coming up. Uh, what's your name, sir? 
Ben. Okay. I'll give you this one, yeah. Oh, yeah so sit next to him. Make it, make, make it cute. Make it romantic. Okay. You'll be like, you'll, you'll be like the two brain hands. Oh. Cords are getting tangled. Streams are crossed. Uh, I'm sorry about that, that song about Justin's mom. And the, I'm, re I'm really nervous coming here. And I, uh, I've made a lot of mistakes tonight. <laughs> but I can tell immediately when you said you played Scrabble all day that that was, that was my kind of bad day. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, the best word I played was uh, cat. I, I really... <laughs> Oh, so, wait, so was it the fact that you played Scrabble all day, it was the fact that you did badly on it? Well, yeah, that's, my, I play Scrabble every day. Oh, it, 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 so a good day would be like if you got a cue on the triple word. Yeah, 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 Right, so, uh, is this Scramble with friends by any chance? No, it's online with strangers and, you know, it's like GG and how are you, and occasionally you get the guy that's like, you know, you want to go have sex somewhere. <laughs> Wait, that happens with online Scrabble games? Like somebody yeah. uses that as well? Or, or people will be talking about sex while you're there and you're just watching and you have to say, like, could you stop? <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. What's the URL? That's on pogo.com. <laughs> I'm blown away by this. The, the, like, the, the people will use that as a medium. There's, d d yeah, well, there's rooms. There's rooms where you go in and it's like Mrs. Netiquette's Nightmare and it's uncensored chat. And you go in and people can. But they're playing Scrabble. They're playing Scrabble, right? It's, it's scrib and you put words that are suggestive, like oh, is that... sexy. And then. <laughs> What if they don't have the right letters and they end up with a pickle in their ass even though they didn't want it? Like, uh, I, I, I want and I wish it's a dickle, but... Uh, I, 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 I have so many questions, but we'd be here all night. I, no, 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 so I, I don't care if it takes all fucking night. We're, we're, we're not going to Austin until we get to the bottom of this. So, so you get in a place called po Pogo.com. Pogo they have different rooms for a... It's, it's literally Scrabble or is it a Scrabble type game? It's Scrabble. And, and so, but it's understood that the different rooms, so as a, Scrabble isn't endorsing this, Parker Bradley or whatever the hell, they are, they're not going, hey, here's a room for the transgenders and the, here's the room for the femdoms doms and the flim flams. Uh, Scrabble's just assuming that you're supposed to be getting together in Scrabble games, but people have co-opted that culture, turned it into a yet another way to fuck each other, which is both uplifting and horrifying. Uh, Minecraft is next. Well, yeah, okay. A guy yelled out Minecraft is next. I, mean, I, I, I'm in the uncomfortable position of having to repeat everything that everyone yells out because the mics won't pick them up. But uh, uh, okay, so so and your bad day was because you got a low score. Yeah, I never broke 200, which is in Scrabble, it's not very good. Now, do you go there to play Scrabble or to meet to meet people? I go to play, I play Scrabble. I play Battleship. Answer the question. <laughs> I go there to play Scrabble. Okay, so you're a Scrabble fan. Yes. And, and, and meanwhile, there's people just fucking and sucking on there. <laughs> yeah. Right. And it's hard not to respond to these people. <laughs> What's your name again? Ben. Ben. Follow your heart, Ben. <laughs> so, so it, on, a, on, a, on a good day, someone would offer to blow you and you'd beat them at Scrabble. Yeah, I would say suck it. So today was a bad yeah, suck it. And, and I beat you. And then, so, so like, from a day to day, like, like how do you support yourself? Like, 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 you don't win money from them. Are you, right, in, you in don't. the meantime, are you logging video for a reality show? Or are you... In, in the meantime, I'm, uh, uh, I deliver pizzas. Oh. Well, that's gotta that's gotta get like in the way, doesn't it? Like, <laughs> yeah, I can't get in the way. Somebody, somebody orders a pizza and you, yeah, okay. You just you, you have to finish being propositioned by someone who, who uh, 
only have letters to spell cat. Um, all right, so 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 Ben, you're you're, you're up here because uh, uh, you had the worst day. Although I have to say, it seems like a pretty good day in Phoenix. Um, I, I, my, I guess my thought was that we would start with somebody who was like really down and try to try to start in well, Phoenix. Well, Dan, dig deeper. Maybe there's a uh, Ben oh, is down. All right. All right. Well, what, what 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 really gets you down? Like like what are you worried about? What, what about, let's start with this. What what would you Aside from winning Scrabble, what would you really want to do if you could do anything? I could do anything. Shit. <laughs> you, can, you can do that if you want to. <laughs> like career-wise? Do so you want to be a musician or a writer or a, a rocket yeah, chip I, I, holder? I would, I would be a writer or a musician. Both of those sound pretty good. Jesus. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> Just seem very impressionable. <laughs> yeah, what else? What else you got? <laughs> well, so, and, 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 and you're delivering pizzas. How old are you? Uh, 22. All right. So you got plenty of time. You don't care. Plenty. But you're, yeah. but you're worried about it. Like, um, wait, wait, what? I, I, I'm at a loss here. Did you go to college? Uh, kind of, yeah. <laughs> uh, I went to community college, and then I hurt my back really bad, and I, and I got out of college. You, 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 you sprained your study bone? <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I herniated some discs in my back. Oh, shit. So I thought you, you were probably laid up for a while. Yeah. I put on like 60 pounds. This isn't how I usually look. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's, that's, that's terrible. So you, you got hurt, you, you gained a bunch of weight because you, you couldn't probably, you were just like laying in bed probably the whole time. Yeah, playing Scrabble. <laughs> are, are you still, are you that's still hurt? I started the Scrabble thing. Um, um, no, but I, just, I choose to lay in bed still just because I got, I got so used to it. <laughs> It's comfy. I, I, got, I got a really nice bed. That was my gift for hurting my back. Is I got a really, really comfortable bed, and I love it. <laughs> this, is, this is the worst day in Phoenix. I, I, I don't think we should leave. Yeah. <laughs> I think we've wandered into. There might be, might be paradise here. Is, there, is everyone else out there just like just yeah, you, drinking margaritas all day? You bring your back and then they buy you a comfy bed. You play Scrabble and then someone comes over and fucks you. Yeah. And then and then you go to a show and you go, I had the worst day. But we did have to pull teeth to get him, and he was he wasn't saying right away. I I, I guess I, I guess I, I'm thrown for a loop here because I thought. Okay, if somebody had a really bad day, like, I, 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 I we would get to the bottom of some real angst here, but, but I think what we're finding out is that Phoenix is just heaven, and we should just roll with that, like, concept that yeah. Phoenix is a great place to be. Uh, so, you're booing the idea that your town is a great place to be. Oh, the Tucson people, God, fuck, I can't keep up with the factionalism. <laughs> All right, so we, we should get a representative uh, yeah. from F Tucson and Phoenix uh, to uh, to have it out up here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Wait, 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 what are we where, where, where are you from, Ben? I'm from Mesa. Mesa. Uh, uh, hey! Wait. I, I think uh, I think my buddy Greg Proops is from uh, Greg Proops is from Mesa. I think so. Uh, yeah. Uh, Jimmy E World's from Mesa. I think. Who? Jimmy E World. Who's that? They're uh, they're that band that sings the Hey, you find yourself okay. In your head, when you feel like that. So, uh, if you sing sometimes, you can find it. Yeah, it's the whole thing. It's called the Music Fight. Take it, Ben. Yo, yo, yo. Yo. Okay. Yo, yo, yo. Chilling with Dan, sitting on the can. I gotta fart, but I can't. Scrabble letters, having people tell me they want to have sex with me. My name is Ben, slept into bed, don't know what to do anymore but lay down with myself. <laughs> Fucked around all day, hurt my back again, going back and back. I, 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 I gotta, you gotta cut it, cut it. <laughs> I heard you played Scrabble. Yeah. Well, if you, you could win life's raffle, you, you say you'd be a writer or a musician, but I don't know what to believe you in nocturnal emission. It's stupid. See, I, 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 can, we, can, I, can I say some things to you, Ben? Just, 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 just yeah. cut the music. I'm a terrible... I'm, I'm, I am 
the one in the room having the worst day. <laughs> how, how much more does the truth have to stare me in the face? I, 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 you, you, you people are clearly happy, self-activated, forgiving. <laughs> Sorry, I am a fucking wreck. I I I, I, I came I came into town and I, I I don't feel comfortable at a stand-up club. I'm trying too hard. I, I I don't like myself. I'm not I'm not fishing for anything. I, it has to stop. Something has to give. I'm a bad bad person. I don't understand why I would leave Los Angeles and traipse around the country in a hundred thousand dollar bus going, hey look at me, broadcasting to the country now. Now we gotta go to Austin. Now what the fuck are we gonna do? <laughs> Pat Oswalt was wrong about one thing. Phoenix is, is amazing. He was right about one thing. I'm gonna. I, I, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead in the water. I'm burnt out. I can't do it. I wish I was dead. I'm, I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm a bad person. Ben. Ben. What to help me? What do I do? <laughs> you gotta pick up the pieces and move on. You gotta... And get my groove on. I'm kind of funny when I try, but not. Why? Why? <laughs> Tell me why. Because your mind is a funny mind, Steph. <laughs> Maybe, Dan, go, go sit down next to Ben. Get back over there. Maybe Ben should be asking you the questions about. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, what do you want to Because, because Dan, I, we're, we're doing this tour. Uh, and we still don't know why you're doing this, why you're putting yourself through all this. I don't know, they don't know, Bobby Lee doesn't know. <laughs> this, I can guarantee you one thing, this fucking club doesn't know. <laughs> you're like, oh, oh man. Ben, uh, yeah, maybe it's time for, like, you, you, he, he can dig deeper into you. Ben, yeah. <laughs> what have you always wanted to know about me? I, I promise, I, 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 I'm sure you stay up in your uh, orthopedic bed. <laughs> Yeah, there's no such thing as an orthopedic bed. That means foot. No, that's. Uh, I'm sure you. I'm sure you stay up at night asking yourself things about me. Now is your big chance. Ask me. If you could be anything. A professional entertainer. A, a, a person with, a, with with an act, a person that, that knew how to 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 make people happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Dad. Thank you. My dad's from Phoenix. Did you know? <laughs> He's right here. Uh, uh, I, I also oh, here, here's another thing I, I, I want to be someone who doesn't make people say things like that. I don't, I don't want to be a drain on people. I don't want to be a person who makes people uh, 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 fill his void. I want to I want to come out and do like a like a thing. Um, uh, all right, Ben. Uh, all right, like I think I got it. I got it. We, we can wipe the slate slate clean. Okay. Um, uh, can you MC for me and like introduce me and uh, and I'll come out and. Uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this for real. I'm gonna earn this venue. Oh wait, no, it's okay. Okay, hold on. Just a little more insecurity. Just put this here. All right, Ben, you, you, uh, use this mic and then introduce me like, uh, like you're an MC at a stand-up club, and then uh, I'll come up. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dan Harmon, the entertainer. Fuck. Jesus Christ. What is this, a picture of your city or a fucking, or a blurry photo? I gotta tell you, I'd rather be in Tucson. Okay, alright. Hey, keep it going for Ben. Yeah. And Brianne, I'll tell you. 
I'll tell you something. Uh, you know, I've, I've I've seen I've seen guys with uh, with shirts on before, but uh, I didn't know I didn't know whether to look at them or 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 not look at them. Interesting uh, coming here tonight. Uh, uh, I, I, uh, I, I, Dan, I'm gonna stop you. I, I think that you got close to a, a, an emotional connection there with Ben, and Ben was about to draw something out of you because I think Ben came up there, and I'm not joking. Ben came up and talked about his his injury and what he went through, and uh, he gained a bunch of weight. And I think there was a moment there where everybody like, oh my God, did the, the fucking buzz went away? Hey, what was that? <laughs> it was Ben. That that was. That was optional all night. I, yeah, that, that, that was driving me mad. Oh way. Jesus! I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> yeah. Because I didn't want if, they, if you didn't notice it, it was like I don't want to call your attention to it because then you then you notice it. God, that's that's why Patton Oswalt hates Phoenix because of that fucking buzz. And that's why I was I'm a bad entertainer. The buzz it's the buzz. I was I, the, the buzz is gone now. Everything's now I'm great. <laughs> but, but what I was going to say was that that. Uh, Ben, a complete stranger, I would I would guess not not a professional entertainer comes on stage, sits down, reveals something honest and true for a moment, and there was that moment that I felt, I think everybody in the room felt this connection, like, oh, that's why he's that's why he's bummed out. It's not about Scrabble. It's about the fact that he's injured and he gained some weight and stuff like that. There was a moment we got close to revealing something about you. We got close to it. But I don't think we got all the way like in silence. I, I, I didn't hear it because I was too busy trying to figure out what to what to say next. Yeah, I mean that's that's the problem. You, 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 you decided to do this tour. You come out and stand with a microphone. Like you feel this onus to to live up to Bobby Lee and the, the guy with the, the guy with the Hawaiian shirt and the uh, uh, Don Ho and Ga Gallagher lady and uh, yeah. Yeah, I want people to order a pound and a half of bacon ham and, and with syrup, and I want them to relax and have a good time. I want to be the reason they uh, they, they, they they were entertained. Yes, but then I can't. That, yeah, I'm outside the moment. Like while I'm doing, it. like how do I do it right? How do I do it right? It doesn't. It doesn't. It's not. It doesn't seem like the venue to to talk about. You know. Uh, uh, you know what's going on in my life, and it, you know because it, it, it uh, you, then you, you hear the silence, and it, it, the silence seems fine in the back of a comic book store, but it doesn't seem okay. But you can see the glow of the cash register and the and the uh, you know the posters of Rob Schneider and stuff. It's, it, it feels weird. And it, 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 they drove places. They drove from from Tempe and Mesa and Tucson. And they, they deserve. I love you. They deserve better. Stop saying you love me. It's a surefire way to lose my respect. I hate myself. It's awesome. Thank you. I suck. Yes, I suck. Thank you. But I rule. Shut up. Hey, you're heckling the audience. Hey, nice shirt. You guys, you call yourselves an audience? <laughs> you can't boo them. You can't. Your worst day. Tell us about your worst day. What was my worst day? Someone said, "Tell me about your worst day." What was my worst day? <laughs> someone, someone yelled out, "Show in Phoenix." Uh, no, no, no. I'm having a good time because you guys are nice. You guys are good yeah, people. What, what, can, what is a bad day for you? What, what is like the worst sort of day for you? When what when what is or is not happening? My honestly, my worst days are. It's not a like Ben Scrabble thing because it's like it's about monotony. It's about mediocrity. It's about like it's about the nightmare of like oh what are, what are, what are, what am I doing? Like uh, I uh, uh, it's like when I owe a, a network a script and I and I and I told them I'd have it to them by, by Monday and uh, and then like another day goes by and I I just I stare at the screen and I just you know I, I end up masturbating a lot and stuff. <laughs> And then I, I like I kind of like and then I go to bed and then I, I wake up and I feel like oh the script's still late but I'll, I, I my my penis hurts. <laughs> like, I, wait wait I just I just came came to this earth like like God made me like made me out of clay and put me out down on earth forty years ago and said go to it do some things here I'll even give you a couple of uh, extra abilities like you can here you can type you can type like, like over a hundred words a minute here's a here's a here's a here's a bonus. You're, you, you, you can be uh, you can be very handsome. 
He gave me that, that bonus. He'd be a very good looking man. No, I'm kidding. That was a joke. <laughs> uh, but, and, then, and then you feel like you squandered it. You wake up and you, you just feel like a bad person. I think that's what drew me out here is I was like, I want something, I want to feel like I, like I you know, like, like I do something for a living. You know, I'm not a writer. You know, I'm, 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 maybe I always wanted to be an entertainer. What's going on? There's no shame in being a writer. Oh, right. Is that Ben? Who is that? No, that's Ben's friend who's been very like he's engaging me. He's, like, he's not heckling, he's he's in my he's in my fucking soul. What's your name? What? Tyler Dandy. Ty, Ty, <laughs> Ty, Tyler what? Dandy. Tyler Dandy. Tyler Dandy. Tyler Dandy's up in my show. I uh, I enjoy your lozenges. <laughs> <laughs> It just seems like a guy that would make laws and just... <laughs> What's the, uh, I have to, I have to check, the, check the time, because we have to, uh, we have to do some... Are we good? We're good. 9.20. Was that, 9.20. Does that put us into D&D time? What do we start, 8.20? <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I don't know if any of you are fans of, uh, Dungeons and Dragons and our Dungeon Master Spencer. <laughs> I think it's... I think, it's, I think it, you know, this, this issue hasn't been resolved. Like, like, like see me after the show and punch me, and uh, I'll, I'll give you your money back, and I'll cry, and you, 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 I'll sign something for you too. But uh, like, let, we, we, let's 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 bring Spencer up to the stage, our dungeon master. And I just want to make sure. Do you have character for uh, for uh, do you have Mole Rain's uh, character? Yeah, I got everyone. All right, that's a that's a good 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 yeah, opportunity yeah, yeah, yeah. to bring my uh, my girlfriend, the lovely Erin McGathy, up here. Erin McGathy, everybody. So I just want to make sure before we proceed any further. That, look, I, I, there's nobody in the audience for sure who was like who got a phone call a couple days ago from Stand Up Live and said you've won a contest. A limo will pick you up. There's a six drink minimum. You and twenty. No, there's nobody here that was like like what the fuck is this? Okay, all right, all right. Like they'd say yes because. But I, th th that was my big nightmare was of course there's some lady in the back going like like I don't understand what what's happening. Babe, babe, it's going great. It does, it does not fit, I'm not fishing for that. <laughs> Your hair looks beautiful. You, you, Thank you. You did a great job with the merchandise, and she was out there running Thank the you. merchandise table. And... Thank you. It's going to be open after the show, so please, please come on by. Spencer's setting up his D&D uh, &D equipment. And Spencer, if you will, please get us up to date and recap where we are in our campaign. All right. <laughs> Last time, our heroes had met with Lord Butzelot of the Butzelot Barbarians. The group had been puzzling over the fragments of power, those shards of great arcane energy, but unsuccessful. In the wreckage of the White Skull encampment, a horse-drawn wagon approached Sharpie and crew. The wagon opened up, revealing a magical storefront and a halfling merchant by the name of Olaf. While Quark and Olaf haggled over scrolls and portable holes, Sharpie had a heart-to-heart -heart with his father. Not long after, the group heard a strange noise. <coughs> Loosing Avenger, Sharpie's familiar, the Hawk scouted out the enemy. Aided by Olaf and his shoot gun, the group slew the displacer beast, but the peace was short-lived. A large rift opened in the sky and out poured the black fleet of Admiral Darkstar. The fleet launched many black cylinders, which impacted the Earth with heavy thuds. That's where we left off. <laughs> so, Admiral Darkstar is, is, is... Yeah, Spencer, everybody. We're on tour. We're on a tour bus with a dungeon master. I don't know if that... That may be first, yeah. That's, we, still, we, we still don't really... Spencer, you got fans out there, man. I mean, they're, they're Tucson fans. <laughs> we, were, we were warning Spencer, like, who's you know, not, not, not accustomed to this, but like, he has, Spencer's got his own fans out there. You, you're you're going to have to get used to that, Spencer. You're a celebrity now. I guess. <laughs> uh, is there, is there, is there, 
anybody that doesn't know what the fuck's going on, <laughs> okay, uh, non dreadlocks guy, uh, we're playing Dungeons and Dragons. It's the coolest thing ever. Uh, it's like it's like poker, but but no one wins any money and, and no one ever uh, gets. And there's laid. no lying. Right. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, we're on the bus with Spencer. We don't. We still don't know anything about him. We know that he works in the back of an Apple store, uh, and that he lives with his parents. And I may or may not have brought weapons. Right. <laughs> Wait, okay. for real? He never sleeps. He that's can't sleep. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Don't you don't sleep? No. Are, are, are you an insomniac? I tried it once, didn't like it. <laughs> no, I do sleep. I sleep. I'm a human. <laughs> That's that you protest too much. That's a, yeah. Spoken like a robot. <laughs> I've never I've never said I'm a human. I uh, never like the like <laughs> uh, Alright, so ready uh, go. So right now there's just giant thuds uh, crashing around us from Admiral Dark Stars. Admiral Dark Star's fleet has been pursuing everyone. Or it's been, you know, unleashing on them on the plane. Are we in danger right now? You see several Large black cylinders thudding to the ground mysteriously. You don't know if this is danger, but it doesn't bode well. Aha! Quark! Quark! Sharpie, I, I was falling behind you. I was only a few miles behind. I had some business with some birds. <laughs> I heard the thuds. I'm here to help. I have plenty of arrows and a great sense of adventure. Aha! Go run into those uh, thudding cylinders and find out what they are. Shoot him in the feet! I am brave, and I uh, am not a very smart character, so uh, I inspect the thuds. Is that possible? You see what looks to be a large black cylinder. It's at least four feet tall and about a foot and a half wide. Its surface is black and unlock marked, shiny like metal. I found a table, everybody! <laughs> you, you found a cylindrical table? I found a 1980s Coke table. <laughs> I, I, I detect magic on it. <laughs> nice. You detect magic coming from the cylinders. I kind of figured that would happen. Swiftly, the black ships sail overhead. They're going towards the west. Mango Butzalot's face grows cold. <laughs> My cap! <laughs> Your cap? My camp. Oh, I don't enunciate okay. well. Uh, <laughs> you, you were un you, yeah, you were unconscious for a while. I said it's okay. All right, so you, your camp is leaving, or they're going towards his camp? It looks like it. To me, my barbarians. His barbarians approach him, and suddenly he swirls his cloak in a vicious flourish. He's gone. As are his barbarians. Well, I mean, they're walking away. He didn't teleport. Oh, he teleported. What? Yeah. <laughs> So he just went poof. Magic is a thing that exists in the world. I know, but my dad, he's just a guy that eats He strawberries. has a magic belt. Who knows what other magic things he has? Oh, man. He right. didn't even say goodbye. No, he didn't. So he's going back to his camp. You don't even know, man. You saw a large group of men just disappear. But he said, my camp! Yeah, so I mean, that's a fair assumption. Yeah. And he's, 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 not, he's not going to Taco Bell. Right. You never know, he loves his Taco Bell. Are, are the columns making any, any noise after they fall to the ground? It's funny that you should mention. You hear the whirring and clicking of mechanics and clockwork gears. Slowly, the cylinders begin to lift out of the grass, floating in midair. Uh-oh. They hang there, strangely, menacingly. <laughs> But there's cut. You're being menaced by cylinders. <laughs> it won't be the last time. I mean, do we have to confront these cylinders, or should we just get the hell out of there? I don't know, man. I don't, I'm sorry. I, I, don't, I don't mean the, the, You like, can't ask me what to do. That's the thing. No, no, no. no right, right, right. Do. So how big are the cylinders? They're four they're foot tall, like four foot wide. Point. They're round and they're metallic. Like maybe the size of a garbage can. Four foot tall cylinders that are sitting on the ground, or they, they were. They're, now they're, they're in floating. the there. Now they're menacingly, menacingly hovering, and there's clockwork sounds coming out of them. This ain't no benign hovering. <laughs> Sharpie, I, I'll, I'll be brave. I, I'll inspect the, uh, the columns, the floating columns. All right. I feel like I should prepare in some way. 
Um, and that includes with my hands. I also inspect with my hands. You, s you search the column for any markings or demarcations or marks. <laughs> you don't see anything. The surface is clean. There is nothing here, gentlemen. <clears throat> All right, well, let's pack it in. Let's, uh... You hear a loud, obnoxious siren emitting from the cylinders. Siren? Siren. You feel sick to your stomachs. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ugh. Wait, Jeff and Dan are fine, but Mulrain is. A, I'm sorry, Quark and Sharpie are fine, but Mulrain is affli afflicted with sickness. Oh, oh, I gotta sit down. Oh, excuse me, I will stand behind this tree. I know what this feeling feel means, and I, I, I'd like to be alone. You're Wait. so sick that you think there's a tree. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. uh, well, in, 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 when I say tree, I mean just, just some sort of obstruction. Yes. <laughs> You're behind it now. All right. Can, can I ask what my spell Mage Hand is? Mage <laughs> Hand allows you to levitate light objects up to five pounds. Mm. They're already levitating, you know? You don't know that. Mm. Uh, what, what about, uh, I just found I can perform the loot. Should I play some loot right now? Is that, is that, a, is that a bad time? You're going to fill the knife of the moon? What? what? That's a throwback. You can play the loot. No, no, I, I'm kidding. I don't want to play the loot. Uh, what, what, I, I had to listen. Uh, it was my li listening skill. But I, I, I go up to one of the cylinders and I listen. It's emitting a loud, obnoxious siren that's making you feel kind of sick. I, I stop listening to it. All right. <laughs> I produce my crystal shard. You produce your crystal shard. What, what, it's not crystal, whatever it is, that, that, that shard thing. The fragment of power is produced. Right, right. <laughs> Thank you. I produce mine as well. Do I, do I still have one? Yeah. And, and so we kind of really rub them together. Like, I, I produce just the a, tips of them. I yeah. produce a different kind of shard. <laughs> oh, uh, that's like my first poop joke I've ever made. Uh, sorry, everybody. Uh, you poop shards? <laughs> she might be useful. Uh, do, do, our, do, do our two shards have any magical powers together? Well, I mean... You, you touch them together, right? You're rubbing together. Yes, we're rubbing, we're rubbing our shards. Nothing's happening. Uh, not happening. I, I hold them toward the. I walk toward the, one of the cylinders with the shard. We must look at the biggest idiots in the world from a human's perspective. Like, the cylinders are hanging. We're just. Are there any DD fans out there who know what to do and we don't? What? Oh, it's just. It's a, take a flesh knife. That's just a. Uh, uh, you you miss Scrabble? <laughs> <laughs> Two of the cylinders rise up and fly towards you. Uh oh. They strike both Quark and Sharpie oh, in the chest. We should have Aha! Oh no! This is not fun. Uh, I, I use Alchemist's fire. Alright. Okay, so that's a throne weapon. So, uh, okay. Quark takes six damage, Sharpie takes two damage, throw the Alchemist's fire. It hits! Aha! It does four damage. The cylinder's now on fire. Great. It's exactly what I wanted. You both relax. Feel free to lie next to each other. Use each other's bodies for comfort. Can I, can I take out my bag of holding and re remove one of these from the, uh, from the sky, or is that a bad idea? To remove one of what? I, I, can, I, can I throw my bag of holding over one of the cylinders? Or is it... That would be a tricky move. It might be possible. Do you attempt? No, I, 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 I take a portable hole and I make them fall into a portable hole. Well, it floats, so it doesn't fall in a hole. I... oh. <laughs> I take out my loot. <laughs> you play okay. Can I ask you a question, Spencer, about yeah. one of my spells? Any of them. All of them. <laughs> Detect thoughts. Detect thoughts you probably not work on metallic entities. Yeah, well, I don't know there would be a Things with brains. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you could do and detect nothing. Uh, Spencer, may I use There's an thoughts. anchor? Do you have an anchor? Oh, yeah. I do. Okay, so you have Qual's Feather Token. That's a token that can turn into an anchor. So... May I use Qual's Feather Token to anchor the, uh, the things on fire to the ground? Right. Adventure! <laughs> you toss the token. <laughs> It, it, it doesn't do anything. It falls out. <laughs> all right. Sorry, I, gentlemen. So I, I, I take off all my clothes, and I, and I go right under one of these things. They're floating in the air, right? Like, I take off my robe, and I, and I, and I, and I lay naked under it. 
And I look up at it and I go, Are these friends or foe? <laughs> but no, they, they, they just attacked us. I, I took like six damage. I, I, keep, you know, I, I keep doing it, but I, I have a thing here. I've got, I, I take out my mysterious emerald dagger, and I go into a, into a, 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 a rage. Producing your emerald dagger, you fly into a barbarian rage. Your mind clouds with anger and rage. You can't think clearly. I attack. You attack in your rage. You attack uh, a cylinder. The flaming cylinder? Or yes. Okay. okay. You attack the flaming cylinder. Oh, you miss really hard. <laughs> I'm in rage. You can't hit anything. Oh, I, I get out of my rage. You end your rage. You feel slightly fatigued. <laughs> I, I slowly put my clothes back on. <laughs> you you re-robe. I, I watch and giggle uncomfortably. Wow. It's a that I'm writing, but I'm you, not. You hear a loud crackling noise. Lightning is arcing between the cylinders. Uh -oh. The three of you are struck by bolts of lightning. Oh! <laughs> All right. Uh, Sharpie takes six damage. Jesus. Spark takes three, and Lauren takes one. Ha ha! Strongest. So, so we're fighting two giant thermoses right now. We're getting our asses kicked. Three, three, three thermoses. Did anybody out there know what to do? Cast back missile at the darkness. <laughs> it's the second. There's just references. <laughs> They're very loving. Uh, Ray of Frost. Ray of Frost. What are what are water skins? Those are like bags that hold water. <laughs> They're necessary. <laughs> I do a power attack. You do a power attack. You would choose between one and three. Three is the most damage. One is the least damage. Three. All right. <laughs> You hit, you deal. Oh, this is so slow, you guys. 12 damage. Fuck yeah. The cylinder splinters in fragments and falls to the ground in earth. Fragments? Fragments. No, not both. Not, no, no, right. not shards, not shards. Fragments. All right. Ray of Frost. Not a, not a Ray of Frost fan time. They love it. They love the ring. Yeah. It misses. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, ball rain, shoot a thing. Uh, the cylinders, they didn't even do anything wrong. They're, they're, <laughs> they're, they they, 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 they shoot lightning bolts yeah, out of this thing. Yeah. One knock me in the chest. If you hang out long enough, they will eventually attack you. Yeah. Are they, are they both on the ground or just one? One of them's dead. The other two are floating around. Okay. I take two arrows. <laughs> And I split them into a V, which is something I do all the time. I split them into a V, and I pull them back, and I, with my with my two eyes that are able to go two different ways, like a fish, I pull them back and and fire them. Oh, they both hit! Aha! Well done. One of them takes five. The other takes twelve. They're not dead, but they seem a bit. Messed up, broken. <laughs> What's wounded for a machine? Uh, broken. Well functioning. Well functioning. There you go. That area. <laughs> I got nothing here. There you go. Well, luckily it's the cylinders turn again. Oh, Mulrain and Quark, you take damage of some sort. Six and five damage. So six and five damage. How am I doing here? You're not doing so hot. Don't, don't I have like, a heal moderate wind or some shit? You always think you do, but you never have. <laughs> you do have a pen. I have my, my, my healing pendant? Yeah. I, I, I put on my healing pendant. Okay. It, it's put on. You think it'll, it, it has to boot up if you recall. If you're all right. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll reboot. Okay. Can I take my water skins? Yeah. Okay. They're okay. taken. <laughs> so I'm holding my water skins. <laughs> Uh, can I, uh, I throw my water skins at the two, uh, floating columns. Feeling sickened, you seem a bit uneasy, but you attempt this strange maneuver. <laughs> One of the water skins strikes. Lightning arcs across the surface of the disc, and it falls to the floor. Uh -oh. Woo! Uh -oh. Woo! Uh, I was, was studying my sheep. You, you knocked a disc off of it. I knocked it. They're weak to water. Oh. oh. <laughs> I, 
I have water skins too. Good. I do, I do the same thing. <laughs> it's not his dance turn. Oh. Uh, but it's still the Buddha. All right. I cast Ray of Water. <laughs> it's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> and, 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 Is that a real thing? No, it's not. It's not. I thought I could lie. So uh, just pee, pee on it. <laughs> yeah, he okay. took a glove up earlier. Yeah, yeah, it's not much of a stretch. All right, I try. It's all, I don't have water skins. I try to pee on them. You're roll for your bladder fullness. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you manage a penny stream. <laughs> 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 Did I hit it? Right? No. Yeah, you know, he barely hit the ground. Yeah. It almost evaporated. <laughs> have we been reduced to peeing on robot cylinders? Uh, that's all I can think to do. I have three sheets. Uh, to, I try, I, that was smart of Mom did to use water. I, I, is it my turn now? Yeah, yeah. I take my water skin out and do whatever the hell she did. You aren't as accurate with a throw as Mulray, but you do attempt it. All right. Oh, that's a good roll. You strike the uh-huh. cylinder. Nice. Water splashes across its surface. It, too, falls to the ground. Hey. Okay. Woo! Oh, oh, they're all coming in. Good job. Okay, so we beat up three cylinders. <laughs> uh, we don't know if they were trying to help us. Are they full of, are they full of skittles or something? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we open one and it's just Jesus Christ. I, I, <laughs> I, I go up to one of the cylinders. And I spryly jump upon it and I try to open it. You spryly jump upon it. I have a huge smile on my face and a really cute hat. <laughs> Where'd you get the hat? From Ola? I, uh, uh, yeah, I, he dropped it out of his, uh, out of his wagon. I can roll with that, yeah. She has a hat, you guys. Okay, you do this. Nothing happens. Maybe battle robots aren't full of treasure. <laughs> I, I, I touch one of them with a shard, and it's not going to do anything. No, I, I think we, the, the, just, we, these, these ships just dropped some robot poop, and we just like <laughs> stood here and fought them. And we fought them. Yeah. And now, but now your dad is off to his encampment. I said, we, I said we ride toward the encampment, and then we beat these uh, soldiers. I, I think these were sent by a greater force, an evil force. <laughs> But we could have, if we had just left in the first place, would they have followed us? I don't know. I think we just... You gotta try different things, different approaches. Well, I keep feel like I keep trying to run away. Urinating almost worked. <laughs> Uh, I guess we, I guess we, I guess we walk in, in the, off into the distance, and the camera stays behind. And I, 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 I do, I do like a a, a Judd Nelson breakfast club <laughs> fist of uh, that free train. Which concludes the uh, the Dungeons and Dragons chapter, right? Because there was no treasure. And, uh. All right, let's hear for Spencer, everybody. Yeah. Spencer. Yeah. We got some cylinders. When we get to Austin, we're gonna we're gonna move, we're gonna continue that that Dungeons and Dragons story. I'll All see right. you guys at the merch table. Thank you, Miguel. Two t-shirts for twenty-five dollars. Aaron McGaffey, everyone. And then, in, in, in the past, uh, we fought a big jello because that's a story we told. We fought other things. Are, are we missing some metaphor with the with the, with the, with the cylinders? I, I I felt very metaphorical in my self lonely I I, I I couldn't have overstated like a, how badly I thought I did here at Stand Up Live in Phoenix, and I felt like there was no better way to end it than fighting a cylinder, like not really knowing what to do and peeing and not, not hitting the cylinder. I think we're missing. It felt very appropriate. We're missing. We're missing a grander point. I think Spencer. Like I think it's well, wrong. We're not. <laughs> what about you fight monsters? Oh, okay. <laughs> What, what, what's part of the game? What, what, is there a name for that kind of monster? It's uh, the Cylinder Monster. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cylinder Monster. Spencer. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a cylindrical construct. I love it. <laughs> Alright, so now next time we're off to go find, I uh, imagine, your, your father, Mango Butts a lot at the, at the barbarian encampment. Let's learn one thing about Spencer before he goes, and let's each city, let's learn two Wait, things. Wait, Watch me. <laughs> Spencer, uh, 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 is, there, is there any any detail you're willing to divulge about yourself that you think nobody knows? Um, I have a condition known as syndactyly. That means two of my toes on either foot are kind of fused together. Whoa! Let's see it! Yeah! Woo! Woo! Can we see it? Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Spencer's now taking his uh, shoes off. I've never seen anything like we're, this. We're making podcast history here, but uh, see though, they're stuck together. They almost look like they're not, but they are. Oh, well, they are! <laughs> wow. You guys are never going to speak to me again. <laughs> Best friend and, and Instagram the hell out of your foot. What's it called? It'll make sure the mutants don't take you over. <laughs> Syndactylism? Syndactyl, yeah. Syndactyl. That's amazing. I didn't really I see never heard of that. We're gonna get a picture of that on the bus. Alright, well that is it, how, how, how many how many people in America do you reckon have that? Uh, uh, is, is All there, of them. I, I mean, <laughs> is, is there a statistic on how many people uh, have synaptic. three out of three Crittenden siblings have this. <laughs> all of your, all of your siblings. Yeah, have but no one else in like any other extended family. That's so weird. Yeah, I had a girlfriend that had it too, but like those are the only four people I've ever known to have this. <laughs> Wait, you had a girlfriend. You're weird. You had a girlfriend with fused toes too. Yeah. Uh, did you, you did you meet at a fused toe convention or did you? Like, it was a support group. No, you're kidding. Yeah, it? no, I'm kidding. But. But how, how much of it was kidding? Did you have a girlfriend that had yeah, the no, same thing? Yeah, yeah. Well, that was to blow your mind. It did. <laughs> what, what, what happened to her? She's fucking a 75-year-old guy. Whoa! Oh! Wait, what? How, how old is she? Let's save this for this feels terrible. Oh. No, she's, she's, she's 22. 22? She's fucking a 75-year-old guy? Yeah, that's older than her dad. <laughs> Sorry, it's a lot to take in. <laughs> it's a lot for me to take in. How, how, how fresh is that wound? How long ago did you break up? I mean, it's it's fresher than it ought to be. <laughs> that wasn't explanatory at all. No, I got gotcha. you. It's, it's a while. You found out in April? <laughs> and and uh, she left you for a 75 year old guy. Yeah. yeah. That's allowed to be fresh. And that's why I have no self esteem. Oh. Oh. Right. Well, <laughs> I feel a lot better now. <laughs> Spencer. I, 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 I love Spencer. I feel worse now. Well, well you, you, yeah, I, I don't know. I can't help you. <laughs> Every man for himself. <laughs> Spencer, everybody. God bless you, Spencer. Amazing. His toes are fused together. In Los Angeles, he just raised I said, is there a dungeon master in the audience? He raised his hand. He's now on a bus with us. His two toes are fused together. I don't know where to, I don't know how to, what's happening. We're going to learn one new thing about him each city we go to. It started with the toe thing. We got 19 cities to go. Do you feel like you've learned anything? Uh, I know we've gotten kind of We're going to learn that he's God. It's going to be like one, like, like, you know, by the end of the tour, it's going to be like the seventh seal kind of, we're going to find out that, that we are all in his like Dungeons and Dragons game. <laughs> I think I, I think that's very reasonable. I, I think uh, we've talked about. This. I think the prediction is that the movie ends up being mostly about Spencer. I think oh, definitely. It's certainly, it's certainly the most interesting of, of all of us. Yeah, the movie's not even made yet, and I'm already because yeah. you're, you're narcissistic. I'm just vain. Yeah. Uh, Sp Spencer is, uh, I think, noble in some way that we're yet to find out. I yeah. Think. If, 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 if these guys wanted to watch a movie about a guy who comes out on stage and goes, "Should I be on stage?" They could watch it about themselves. Like Spencer is an amazing. <laughs> he's a national treasure. <laughs> He's incredible. I hate him. I'm gonna poison his food. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He's incredible. And he's why we're here. That's what's important. And, and the crazy thing is, uh, Dan and I spoke about uh, at a bar before doing Harmontown in LA. Dan said we should use Harmontown. Have we talked about this on the show before or no? I don't, I don't think so. Uh, Dan said to me like we should use Harmontown to audition dungeon masters. Like 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 American Idol, and then we'll, and then each week we'll bring in a different dungeon master, and when we find the one that we like, we'll hire that person, and pay the person for like for parties and stuff, and we'll have a big party. We'll play D and D, and we didn't tell anybody that. And we go to the show, and Dan halfway through the show says, "Anybody here play D and D?" And a hand goes up in the back of the room, and we bring a guy up, and his name is Spencer. And we and Dan said, "Have you ever played D and D before?" And he goes, "Yeah." And Dan said, "Have you?" been a dungeon master before, and he goes, yes, today. I was making character sheets with some friends today. And I found out only recently that Spencer went to that show that night and told his friends, I'm going to Harmontown because I really feel like Dan and I should play Dungeons and Dragons together. <laughs> really. 
It's that weird. And, and, uh, and this is how I reward him by trying to pee on a cylinder. <laughs> 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 I'm not. I'm not. I feel like we're letting him down. I, I, I think that. And I, I'm going to say Spencer has a grand plan for this whole thing, and we're going to learn more about our songs. I need to become a better D&D player. Yeah. yeah. And a better rapper, and a better singer, and a better songwriter. How about fucking Brianna? That was amazing. Yeah, Brianna. And a Brianna? I don't know Brianna. All right. Brianna. Uh, that, that was fantastic. That's pretty badass. It's uh, pretty I, 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 they're a singer. I wonder, right? like, uh, maybe we can get Brianna back on stage. Brianna, would you mind trying to get back on stage? Is there a way to. Don't you have I, a, I think maybe country song. Don't you have a country western song? Yeah, I was thinking that maybe you guys could do a country. Kind of, what kind of music do you play, Brianna? Rock. Rock and roll? Yeah. Yeah? You like Alice Cooper? <laughs> you, you make shitty french fries. Uh, let's maybe do a country song, and uh, maybe we can maybe uh, summarize what, what, what little we've learned about about Phoenix, Arizona. You feel good about that, Brian? Brian, sorry. Uh, sure. All right. And again, like, like, no wrong answers here. We should go and be Harvard Is that an actual town? I assume. Uh, yeah, 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 raising his, raising his hand. Should we all chip in and buy the rights to Xanadu? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, I know, the thing is, uh, I actually know Jeff Lynn from ELO, and I, 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 for real. And I asked him about it, he's like, oh, you do not talk to my manager, man. <laughs> you know, Jeff Lynn's never seen Xanadu. He wrote all the music for it, never seen him. <laughs> I got, it's not that good. It goes, yeah, that's what I hear. <laughs> He's never seen the movie. All right, all right. Nancy, uh, what was the ty- Tyler, 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 uh, Tyler Dandy? Tyler Dandy. What? Tyler Dandy! <laughs> 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 Do you have a cough? Oh, oh. You Gee, Jerry, that sounds like a terrible cough. Have you tried Tyler Dandy's lawsuit? <laughs> <laughs> not that hero. Tyler Dandy is a good name, man. I love it. I'm jealous. Do you have a question, Tyler Dandy? No. Oh. <laughs> Do you have a statement? Do you have a question? Yeah, will you please tell us about the about your newest show that you're working on? Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. He said, will you please tell us about your newest show you're working on? I'm working on two of them. On the tour bus. Uh, what? I, 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 I'm doing a CBS pilot that, uh, you know, it's it's multi-camera, which means that there's a laugh track probably. Well, I shouldn't say laugh track, it would be before a live studio audience. What's, what, what's the premise, you say? Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a father-daughter relationship. Uh, is it still Jack Black or not? It's well, I mean, it's not, I mean, Jack Black's not attached, but uh, I don't know if that's even, I have no idea if that's allowed to say. I don't know if I'll have to edit that out. I don't know that. But, I, but, but, but you're aiming, you're thinking Jack Black. I'm writing it with him in mind, and he said, yeah, let's do it, but 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 he, I mean, I don't know if that's Jack Black in a sitcom would be fucking awesome. <laughs> but, 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 you know, what's that? 
I mean, better, better than that. I was just gonna say, I, like, like the trouble is, like I worked on community for three years and the whole time, every day I got out, out of bed, yes. I was doing, uh, I was going to work for people who, 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 who wanted me to, like that I was, I was but by doing the thing that I wanted to do, I, I try, trying to make people happy, I was like, I was be, being the bad guy, and I, I, my attempt now is to try to, like, segment things into, I want to do a thing for CBS and a thing for Fox and a thing for Adult Swim at the same time. So the thing for Adult Swim is like, it's about a scientist with a diarrhea ray, you know, it's like crazy <laughs> shit that, you know, the, the 15 year old in you will love it, it's amazing, I'm, 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 it's, it's being written right now, it's an incredible, incredible show. You know, no, nobody will see it, it's on Adult Swim, but if you go watch it, it's like, you'll love it, it's a, it's a, it's a cartoon. Then, then at Fox, I want to do like something that's like the new community, you know, do something that's single camera and like, 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 like makes people happy. And, uh, Prove, not in a cynical way, I want to prove that something can be successful and good. Like, I, it may not be your cup of tea, Tyler Dandy, I, you know, for, for, for basing that purely on the fact that you shouted out, you could do better than that. Yeah, I, uh, I hear you, I hear you. I understand where, where that's coming from. I know we've been indoctrinated into a culture of like, okay, popular shit sucks and smart shit is not popular. I, 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 I don't, I'm not disagreeing with you. I, I understand your anxieties. Uh, 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 but I, I, I really, can I have your permission, Tyler, Dandy, to, to try as hard as I can to make a good, like, old... Do whatever you want, Dan Harmon. <laughs> Tyler, get up here for a second. Tyler Dandy, everybody. I, I, I can't see it. I'm, I'm not leaving here without looking at Tyler Dandy in the eye. Tyler Dandy. There it is. It's Andy Dick. <laughs> <laughs> you get it all the time. Oh, come on. Oh, I thought he was going to fight. Oh, come on. Here, Tyler, take, take this mic and let's get to know you. Just for a second. All right, yeah. Brianne, stick around. Yeah. Brianne, we're, you're, you're going to have to close the show. Tyler can't. I mean, like. I could. Yeah, no, maybe you could. You I probably could. could. But, but Brianne's going to, she'll, she'll, after you do it, she'll say, yeah, or something. I don't know. She's been sitting up here. Like, can you yeah. imagine how uncomfortable this is? She, she's, she's our Rihanna. She's, uh, she, she sings the hook. I, I want to. I, I'm standing in the way. I, I want uh, everybody. You're here. You, you stay there, Brian. All right, Tyler, Dan. Yeah. Yeah. Real name, fake name. Really? Okay. All right, Jeff. You got him up here. Yeah. I just, <laughs> uh, I, 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 uh, Tyler, uh, what's uh, what do you do? What's your deal? What do you, what do you have to say for yourself, Tyler, Dan? I play guitar in a band. I. Do you uh, sing? I, no. Absolutely not. Are you willing to sing tonight with, with Brianne? Oh, no. <laughs> really? There's a chance here to make magic. Come on, Tyler. There's a chance if you to... Want me to... If you want me to, maybe. I think you, know, you, 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 you follow your own... There's, there's no wrong answers in Harmontown. Harmontown's yeah. a safe place. <laughs> but I think, uh, you know, you, you've, been, you've been a vocal member of the audience and, uh, and a valuable one, so I, it's good to have you up. I don't know how the bar could be any lower. I don't know what you... Are you worried that you'll... <laughs> Like, what, what have I done yeah, you're, you're, you're musically tonight? You'll pee on an audible cylinder. Uh, but also, what would he sing? I mean, would, well, I think maybe he sings the hook with... Uh, with oh, oh, okay, yeah, he can join in with her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, but Tyler, okay, I'm intrigued here, because you, you, it's interesting, you're calling out from the audience. You're not, you're not a heckler, you're not like a drunk, raucous, like, look no, at me I, guy. I love you. You're I'm saying like, I love you, and you're, you're saying that you're, you're, you're the voice in the back of my I head. I used your story circle to write my short stories. Oh. I love you. Thank you. You're my hero. I, I'm nothing without you. Well, what do you, what do you, <laughs> go on! <laughs> Well, what do you what do you what do you envision me doing? Like like if I could do better than writing a CBS sitcom, what what do you what do you envision me doing that would like like you would go? That's fucking Dan Harmon. <laughs> if you could make if you could make multi camera work, that's amazing. All right, well, see, yeah, that's why I want to try. Yeah, you're no like I'm 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 in with faded breath for what you're gonna do next. <laughs> Yeah, if you could, if you could season pick. two of Community is the best thing I've seen on TV in my entire goddamn life. I like it. It's good. Adderall and all. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You're a genius. I should take some Adderall tonight. <laughs>
Uh, all right. Well, uh, I don't know what else. Do, what else do we have to say to Tyler? We, yeah, I think let's, yeah, he, let's, we're gonna we're gonna close it now. Dan, yeah, there's times that I, when, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna redeem myself. It's not a time to talk. Sometimes the soul opens up and you must sing or rap. Do you remember the refrain, Brian? Yeah. 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 It's been a show. It's been kind of weird. I'm sorry about it. Sorry about my beard. Collecting all the food and all the tears from the regrets and dreams that I ever had before. I came to Phoenix looking for something new. All I did, I feel, is disappoint you. But you disagree. You say you love me. But all I can do is look at cylinders and try to pee. <laughs> It comes out of my dick, it goes onto the floor, I can't do nothing different. I got Jeff Davis professional improviser, but I wanted to be an entertainment surpriser. Wanted to come out and do some cool shit. I can't do it, dick. <laughs> Sorry, alright. Wait. Start. Yo. Oh, I have your microphone. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Sorry. Yo, yo, yo. Cooling out, just no pressure, just going out. Just gonna close the show with a rap, but I'm not gonna do too much intense crap. Not gonna punish the crowd for thinking too hard. I'm not gonna bring out the crystal shards. <laughs> I'm just gonna rap and get over to Brianne so she can sing that. Yeah, don't know what to do. Got yellow pee, got brown ass poo. I put, I put it in a jar, put it in space. I got on a rocket ship for every race. I got black people, got white people too. I got yellow people, got brown like poo. I got rhyming shit that I've rhymed before, but I never know what I'm doing. Three, four. <laughs> Yo, I can't stand myself. I wish, I wish I was up on the dusty shelf. Cause I'm, I'm fat and hairy. Just turned 40. Don't know what I'm doing. I'm really sad. <laughs> it's not bad. Dance break. <laughs> I ought to go to therapy instead of come here. I'm really sorry to trout on all my anxieties and fears. You deserve better. You deserve better. Come on down to Harvard Town. Learn your brown upside down. Yo. Is yellow is brown. Yo. Come on down. Struggle. Got a struggle. Gotta struggle to the strength. I gotta feel the rhythm. I gotta feel it inside. I grew up in the ghetto, tried to get high, couldn't do it. Working class background. People trying to hold me down. I just rose up from the bottom up. Just wrote shit on my hand in the back of a bus. Just practicing my rhymes, cause I'm a rapper. Use my notebooks, put them in a trapper, keeper. I'm just a sleeper, spitting fire. My dick's a creeper, puts on all my pants in the twilight night. Silence, good night. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. We did it, Brianne. Tyler Dandy. Tyler Dandy, everybody. Brianne, what's your last name? Tyler Dandy. Coding candy. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you, everyone. Tyler, Danny, Brian, Jen, everyone. Thank you. Everybody who came up tonight, thank you so much, Phoenix, Arizona. We've learned a lot. You sent us off to Austin at Grand Style. One more time for the mayor of Army Town. The wonderfully self loathing, the majestic Dan Harmon. Thank you for throwing garbage at me. Thank you for high fiving me.
God bless your wonderful city. We have to leave it almost immediately. But uh, I think we can sign some shit out front if we have some time. I love you guys for real. You're let's so all go, let's all go meet at the bar and have a drink right now. How about that? Yeah. All right, see you out there. We love you all. So, thank you so much. Oh, and if it's not too late, you should probably tip your weight staff. I should probably say that. <laughs> <laughs>